Pat, so here we are. We are fitting Ico smoke alarms today with the Ico 3000 module. So how to fit it, remove the dust cover to expose the area where the smart module sits is here. Just at the top then you have a hole for the antenna and then below it then you have area for the pins. Uh, which we'll have a look at on the smart module right now uh forgive my filament it's not very good so just rip, taking that out of the packaging um something like it could probably reduce a little bit i suppose there you go there's a smart module um you can see the antenna there sticking up and those are the pins i mentioned it and again there's the antenna so feed the antenna into the hole takes a bit of uh pushing in gently uh, a bit hard to do one hand, so I put the camera down to record it. Push it in until you've got to this point. Just bear in mind that we don't bend the pins when pushing uh, the module into place. Push it into the module is then flush with the base, as you can see here, and that is ready to mount onto the base that we fitted onto the ceilings previously uh, and ready for testing. So here we are got a hybrid system here where we've got three core and earth to this alarm in the kitchen uh, an alarm on the hallway and one on the landing just there to the rear of us we've taken a feed from the local light source to feed this base this is where we're going to pick put the rf module in this one and in the one in the kitchen so they then can talk to each other to achieve a hybrid system so if we look at the mount of the head, the mount of the head is just a click. So we're going to set the house code in for the RF module. So I like to reset them to a factory reset. It just makes it easier, i found. Slip a screwdriver into the slot, look dedicated for the house code, and hold it until the blue light flashes rapidly, roughly about seven seconds. Remove it and then press it one more time until it repeatedly as so. And then every five seconds it should flash indicating the number of alarms on the RF system. So there we go, it's flashing one at the moment. because This is a smoke head in the living room. Now we've gone to the kitchen, repeating the process of resetting the house coding system. There we go, that's been reset. Press it one more time until the process is repeated. This time now, it should pick up the previous head and this head. So we've got one, two, three flashes. Three flashes for two heads because this is a combined sensor of heat and carbon monoxide. So that will give us two flashes because it's doing two different jobs on one head. Plus the previous smoke alarm we fitted earlier. And then all we need to do, we can either manually wait for the house coding to stop. Which it will do after approximately 30 minutes. Until then the blue light will flash. Uh, continuously and there you go we can press the alarm to press test this will then send a test signal around the system and activate job done